Okay, here we go. Ready to move on to the rear end of the Wagons West base slam. Um, we are going to be, actually it seems to be from what I read on the instructions. Again, I'm gonna follow the step-by-step -step instructions. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview because it's actually not very complicated, um, but I've never done it before. So, and again, um, just like their website states, you are assuming all risk at this. However, um, uh, yeah, you're kind of on your own on this. Um, however, it doesn't look like it's going to affect anything structurally too much with the exception of two things. Number one, we're gonna cut the bump stop off. And number two, we're gonna trim down a piece of the metal so we can get the uh, drop plates to fit. So we're going with this. We've got four and a half inch drop plates that narrow a half inch on each side. So if you're running aftermarket um, wheels and tires on this, you will want the four and a half inch drop, not the three and a half inch drop. And it's not necessarily about how low you can go. It's more around uh, fitting the stock wheels right there. Otherwise they won't fit. So two things we're gonna do, three things really. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, there's four bolts here, here, and two on the back side here and one below it. We're gonna undo those bolts. We are then going to cut this trailing arm off for the bump stop. It's not needed and it won't fit. And then we're gonna trim this bracket off as well. So shouldn't be too hard. Got the trusty sawzall ready to go. And that's what we're gonna do. Start with one side, move on to the next. So I'll time lapse this one, see how it goes. just to get some stabilization but so a couple things I would probably do differently number one might be a good idea to take the shock off um, just unbolt it at the top I don't know I'm gonna try it on this side and leave it alone uh, number two um, before you disconnect all of these um, bolts back here uh, we need to pull this this brake this hard brake line out So you need to pull that from the back of the drum right here and pull it through these trailing arms um, because otherwise the drop plate will not fit. So the other thing, I don't have a strap underneath my tranny. So I'm going to go ahead and jack that up and see if that helps a little bit with um, some 
spacing issues I'm running into as well. So next step here is we're going to we're going to mark where we're going to cut our spin or our trailing arm here. So So you're going to draw a line right about here. We're going to cut, although my pen is dead, we're going to cut that piece off right there. And then you're going to cut that bracket. I don't need to mark that because that bracket is just going to come off. So I have a line right here. This is where we're going to cut. That's what I'm going to do next. Um, along with jacking up the tranny, get a little bit more leverage there, and then We'll start mounting the drop plate and hopefully button it back up here. We should be good to go. So, here we go. Okay, we're back. Um, had the time lapse going yesterday and the uh, camera died. Um, but ran into, so I got the, the passenger side rear lowered. Uh, the, the lowering um, bracket was really easy actually. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with one of the threads on one of the bolts, so I um, had to kind of shut it down for a little bit until I could get um, something re-threaded. Um, but here she is. It's gonna sit a little, it'll sit a little bit lower once I get um, the motor in and the driver's side done. So today I'm gonna focus on the driver's side. It shouldn't take me too long. You can see the driver's side sitting pretty high. and no motor. So, we're gonna work on that, get that done, and we should be done. So here we go.
Okay, well finished finally after about three and a half days of uh, work on the bay window, 69 bay window, finished the Wagons West slam kit install. So here you go. Now it will sit a little lower in the rear once I get the motor in, but that's a four and a half inch drop in the rear. And I'm, I'm guessing about the same in the front. It's hard to tell, but a bug, 66. There you go. Pretty happy with the outcome. A lot of work. So if you're gonna jump into this, prepare yourself for a lot of work ahead of you. But it was worth it, learned a lot. Um, one note on the rear drop, if you're using the four and a half inch drop plates uh, by Wagons West, in order to get the rear wheels and tires on, you need to deflate the tires completely to tuck them underneath. Um, that was a pain in the butt to figure out, but they're in and they look great. So, all right, thanks for following along. Hope this helps somebody eventually. If not, then I just documented it myself for myself. So, happy V-dubbing.